That's so, right. How'd you pull that off? Because his tickets were like four hundred dollars a piece. Shout out to a friend of mine. Uh, him and his wife. <laughs> Uh, he was going to go, he, he went online cause I, I visited their house on Wednesday night last week. I was like, yeah, I, I know the Elton John concert's coming up on Friday. I'm kind of bummed that I don't get to go, but then I just dropped it after that. Cause I've seen him twice. It's, it's been fun. Uh Oh, where'd Sheila go? Oh no. Oh no. Sheila, are you there? Yeah. Hey, sorry. My, um, my internet pauser thing. Yeah. Did it, but I turned it off. Oh, okay. Well, I was as I was saying uh, before we lost you, I went to see Elton John. A friend of mine went to their house. I just mentioned in passing that he was coming, and I was bummed I wasn't going to see him. But I saw him once when I was a kid. Uh, Baby Jay and I saw him about six years ago, so it wasn't the end of the world. Next day, he texts me and says, I, ha- I got a couple tickets for 163 bucks if you want to go. I was like, uh, uh, okay. So, well, here's the thing. Was it a date? It was a date. It was a date. He, he, but here's what was so weird about it. He was, he was going to have ACL surgery on Friday morning, and he did. Hmm. He had ACL, and he still thought he was going to go to a concert. So I was like, no. And, and, he's, and even he was like, yeah, no, never mind. I don't feel good. So, and, and Janelle had to work. So uh, me and his wife, who was also a friend of mine, we ended up going and we we had a blast. It was a fun night. But yeah, he got him for 163 bucks. He wouldn't let me pay for my ticket. He went on some discount site. I don't, I don't know which site it was, but found him for like 60 bucks a piece. How? I don't know. <laughs> but, all right, that okay. You just porked me, and I'm mad. <laughs> so <laughs> I just I call it when you don't get the the necessary information I know. from the story. Well, I, I asked, I think it was, was it Knoxvilletickets.com? Maybe that's where he got them. Anyway, Find it out and share it because goodness, I have not. Ugh. I will figure that out. But yeah, he got them for 60 bucks a pop. I offered to pay. He wouldn't let me pay for my ticket. So we, we went and, and we had a good time. It was a fun show. I was, I was shocked. I, like I had no plan. This time last week, I had no plans of seeing Elton John. And I kind of got rocket launched into it. And it was a lot of fun, but yeah, that was it was a it was an exciting night. Not a bad song in the set list. All the hits, all the hits were. were well, it's his, his farewell tour, so he better be getting them hits out. That's true. Um, it was, right. it was, I didn't come here to see your B side, Dalton. <laughs> no, although I'm a fan of the deep cuts, uh, but m- mostly the '90s deep cuts. Those those are the best. Uh, Not me. I'm a basic bitch. Just well, I'm a basic, me. yeah. But uh, give you, me your your hits. Like I hate when I go and I see bands and they don't play their their best song. Right, right. Like that's not why I'm here, and that's shouldn't be why you're here either. See, that's the thing. If you're if you're a Dave Matthews fan, you have to just enjoy all. The <laughs> yeah, they. Cause but every you, once in a while, they'll they'll get into under the table like something from there, and you're just like, yay! Like right, you live for it. Right, but it's weird how because I am a Dave Matthews fan. And I do. I love all the songs on his albums as opposed to like an Elton John where I'm listening to the hits as opposed to the super deep cuts with the exception of, like I said, the nineties deep cuts were really great, but you know, it's weird. It's like you, it's like you just learn as you go along. It's really a learned behavior, but yeah, it was, it was a fun night and uh, he did all the hits uh, and funeral for a friend, which I know is Pork's favorite. Out of, out of Yay. His he did funeral for a friend, uh, so that was fun. But yeah, that was that was a crazy, crazy night. I, I had no expectations of seeing Elton John on his farewell tour, and it, and it man, and we managed to make it happen. Right in between COVID surges. That's ideas. true. I, I wore a mask just so just so everybody knows. But it's weird because where we sat, it was nosebleed. But it was in an area where there was, there was we literally had a row to ourselves. We had nobody around us. So we we got we lucked out in that respect. Now we did we did have to get in the crowd when we left and everything, but other than that, it was pretty solid the whole situation. But yes, if you if you saw Elton, you know what a magical evening it was. But yeah, I wasn't going to go for no starting price. Starting for nosebleed was two hundred dollars a person. Like I'm I'm seriously jelly because so my son Andrew. Mm-hmm. DJ Turducken. Turducken. 
finally got into the Killers. Like, yeah. I tried to bring him to the Killers concert years ago. When It's so long since we've been able to do anything. Um, when they were on their Battleborn tour. And he was like, nah, I'm not really done. I'm like, okay, whatever. You suck. Mm-hmm. And go. Um, <laughs> it's like, but he finally got into the Killers. And so he was listening to his Spotify. And Spotify has this devil creation that like tells you, hey, you're listening to this song, you know, his band's coming near you. So it told him that they were going to be in Atlanta in September. And he comes in and he's like, Mom, 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 the killer. So I told him I'd, I'd love to take him to one of those concerts. I think it'd be fun. Right. And he's like, you know, he wanted to bring a friend. And I was like, okay, yeah, we'll see. I looked in, I ended up getting for the Nashville, which is on Saturday. I spent $354 for two tickets. The hell? I'm not even in the front row, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah. And is it, um, a, is it like a huge arena or is it like yeah. a... Yeah. Is, okay. is it Bridgestone? I think so. Yeah. And I'm like, what the bleep? It's like, I saw like 60 bucks at the Ryman before. Right. Um, But it was just so... So, no, his friend is not going to come because Mama cannot afford that third ticket. I thought I'd be spending less for all three tickets that I spent for those two, but I did get us tickets to go see them and they're going to, they'll, they'll get their hits out. So that's why they're always a great show. Right. But I was just like, Oh, uh, 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 I don't know if I can't afford to keep going to shows anymore. That's a, huh. See, that's the thing. Like uh, last time I that's saw another the, thing that inflation has hit is like ticket prices, ticket especially prices. since like there's been like a, Uh, a live music hiatus for the last year and a half. Right. But even when I saw Dave Matthews last, which was in uh, 2019, two tickets cost me almost $200. So, I mean, yeah, inflation has hit it, but I mean, just, just art concerts in general are just too expensive anymore. 